Welcome to AI and Marketing, your daily news update curated by Stan Bertello and generated by AI. Today is Thursday, June 20th. Here is what we are covering. Ilya Sutskeva, co-founder of OpenAI, has launched a new AI company called Safe Superintelligence Inc., SSI, just a month after leaving OpenAI. Sutskeva, along with former Y Combinator partner Daniel Gross and ex-OpenAI engineer Daniel Livy, aims to tackle AI safety and capabilities simultaneously. During his tenure at OpenAI, Sutskeva was pivotal in AI safety research, notably with Jan Leica, who now works at Anthropic. SSI is designed as a for-profit entity, focusing exclusively on advancing AI safely and efficiently, with offices in Palo Alto and Tel Aviv. Shifting to social media innovations, Snapchat is giving us a glimpse into its future with an AI model that can transform a user's environment using augmented reality. This groundbreaking model will allow creators to convert text prompts into custom lenses, promising some incredible new looks for users to try. The feature, showcased with a 50s sci-fi film prompt, could be available later this year for creators. Additionally, Snapchat's updated Lens Studio now includes tools for generating 3D assets and realistic transformations, enhancing the creative possibilities for AR effects. In online community news, Reddit's website traffic has surged by 39% compared to the previous year, a growth attributed to its increased visibility in Google search results. This change follows a recent Google algorithm update that prioritizes helpful content from discussion forums. While the rise presents opportunities for businesses to engage with Reddit's community, it also poses challenges due to the platform's preference for user-generated, often anonymous, content. Critics argue that this could lead to authoritative content being overshadowed by less credible opinions on Google search results. In academia, assistant professors of philosophy Tomasz Zuratsk and Leszek Roński have uncovered that three academic journals by Adleton Academic Publishers seem to consist entirely of AI-generated articles, according to Retraction Watch. These papers, filled with buzzwords such as blockchain and deep learning, share the same editorial board, many of whom are deceased, and list a nondescript address in Queens, New York. This highlights how generative AI is gaming academic evaluation systems like Sitescore, where these journals rank in the top 10 for philosophy research due to extensive self-citations. Zhuradsk and Vronsky warn that this manipulation may inflate researchers' credentials, impacting academic awards, hiring, and promotions, thus potentially disrupting professional lives. Addressing industry challenges, despite the hype surrounding generative AI, many companies are moving cautiously due to technical complexities. Studies reveal that barriers such as estimating value and a lack of talent are significant obstacles to widespread implementation. A Gartner report found that 49% of companies struggle to demonstrate AI's value, while 42% face a talent shortage. Additionally, only a small fraction of companies, as reported by McKinsey and Lucidworks, have successfully scaled generative AI projects, indicating a gap between expectations and reality. In legislative news, Congress has passed the ADVANCE Act, aimed at accelerating nuclear energy development in the US, now awaiting President Biden's signature. The bill seeks to streamline the approval process for advanced reactors, create a swift licensing pathway for small reactors, and expedite reviews for new and existing nuclear sites. Proponents see it as crucial for supporting clean energy and stabilizing power grids, while opponents raise concerns about potential safety, security, and environmental impacts. This legislation highlights the ongoing debate around nuclear energy's role in combating climate change. Thank you for tuning in to AI and Marketing. If you want to learn more, check out the episode description. Be sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast platform so you never miss an episode. Contact us to learn how to launch your own AI-generated podcast at nitromarketing.com. That's N-Y-T-R-O marketing.com. See you tomorrow for more AI and tech news.